Hello! As we have promised in the last video, here are the exact descriptions of all previously leaked tanks. The SCR V81 turned out to be not that much different from the actual Centurion Mark 1. It is basically the same thing, but with 5km per hour higher top speed and a bit more DPM at the cost of not being able to use the Hesh ammo. The 114 SP2 is surprisingly not a tank destroyer, but a heavy. It is something between a T110 E4 and an E100. It has tons of HP, but armor is apparently not that good, especially when the enemy is using gold rounds. The gun is very similar to one you can find on the E100. It has only slightly less alpha and a bit quicker reload. This vehicle seems to be interesting, but not overpowered by any means. This is the Copa. As we get in the last video, it's a tier 9 British medium tank. It has pretty bad mobility for a medium, and not the greatest armor either. But what really makes it different from other tanks we have in the game is the gun. It has only two types of shell, heat and hash. All gun stats on it are pretty average, but if you manage to re reliably penetrate the enemies with hash, you can get up to over 3000 dpm, which is a very good result for a tier 9 tank. It seems to be below average when facing tier 10s, but might be an absolute menace for tier 8 vehicles. And here we have the last two tanks we want to show you. They may be the least interesting ones, but I think they also deserve some attention. Let's introduce to you the Jew New and the Skoda T25 Battle Pass versions. Just like the STR V81's case, there seem to be slight differences in statistics when compared to regular Tech 3 variants, but most likely nothing to be excited about. And that's all for today. Tell us in the comments what you think about these new tanks. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.